Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to show those of you who have purchased my item off of eBay how to get started. I've also created two additional videos. Uh, one is for the VMware Workstation images, and the other is for the VMware EXXI images. Uh, those go down two different paths, so I created two different videos, but this one is really for everyone, pretty much a must to get started. Uh, some of you guys have already done something similar to this, already know how to work it, but for those of you who have no clue how to get started, I'm here to show you right now uh, you can actually download these images or I will actually physically ship them uh, the physical shipping is an additional seven dollars for you you're in the United States and fourteen dollars I believe if you're out of the country uh, or the download version of these are pretty much the same you'll get them faster because you can start downloading them immediately after I send them to you and that is at no cost like I said the physical shipping will cost seven dollars for the United States and fourteen for international buyers but the downloaded is absolutely free for everyone alright inside of those DVDs or the download leaks you will see a miscellaneous folder inside the miscellaneous folder is very important the instructions it contains the IP address the host names and so forth for each of the applications and it contains a WinWare extractor this is very important you install it onto your PC Windows 7 uh, Windows XP uh, Mac compliant uh, you just download it and it allows the files that I send you to be compiled into one large file uh, and I'm just gonna give you an example of that so we're gonna just go to the EXI version and it works for the workstation version as well uh, let's start with the server now you see you have several files for the Windows 2008 server what you do is just click on the first one you don't have to bother with combining them all on your own because of that WinWare Extractor it compiles them all together you notice that they are about 300 megabyte in size each you just click on the first one and it's going to automatically open the WinWare Extractor and you want to uh, choose where you want to extract the files to uh, I've already done this I'm just going to create a folder just for this demonstration I'm just going to name it server 2008 and I'm going to click on OK and you notice it's going to start extracting and the real cool thing is just to pay attention to the parts that it's on right now it's showing it's on part one you see that it just jumped to part two see it's automatically running through those files and putting them together uh, like a puzzle just putting the pieces together so once you download them all separately you using the WinRaw tractor it automatically puts it all together into one huge file um, I'm gonna pause the video right here because it will take a couple minutes um, I did choose the Windows 2008 server because it's a lot smaller than the communication manager or the unity so this one will be a lot quicker but I'm gonna pause it just the same okay we are back and let's go to the 2008 server and click on it and notice that we went from several smaller files to one larger files let's click on it and see how large this is see we went from several files averaging about 300 megabytes to a single file that it was 365 gigabytes so that's basically the work of the WinWar extractor and that's how you get started and again um, if you went to the VMware workstation route I have a video for that or if you went to the VMware EXXI route I have a video for that to show you guys how to get started and that's all I have today guys I hope you like comment and subscribe to my videos and if you have any questions whether it be technical support or any other questions items to purchase to go along with your lab uh, feel free to eBay email me uh, email me uh, call me text message me I try my best to answer uh, as many questions as I can because I know a lot of you are brand new to this and your careers depend on getting certified so I'm here to help you uh, any questions just feel free to reach out to me thanks a lot guys